It is a whole new world, ain't it? Oh, But yeah. But David Barnson, our market guest at the moment, bring him up. There he is. He does not like this whole new world. You don't like Coinbase, do you? We're talking the exchange now, not Bitcoin. You don't like it. You won't touch it. Why not? It's, it's not that I don't like it. I don't care. It's that I'm not going to buy it for my clients because we have to manage risk and reward trade-offs. So it hits 430 yesterday. It's down 28% within a couple hours from a high. Somebody actually paid 430. Now, now it's going to go up here this morning, up 20, down 40, up 100. And this is what? The thing to bring us stability in markets. This new revolution of a stable alternative currency. I, I, I don't even know what I'm watching. And by the way, Stuart, as, as Susan pointed out, that's with my friend Kathy Wood buying $250 million of it. So let's take out ARC's buying yesterday and see what happens. The reality is that this thing can go way higher and way lower. And these analysts putting a price target on it are making it up out of thin air and they know it because there's two variables okay. that nobody well knows where Bitcoin goes and where trading costs go. There's no competition yet. Competition's coming. Trading costs are going to zero. We'll see how that revenue model holds up. Real fast, though, David, this is a whole new world. The cryptos are a whole new investment world. Like it or not, they are. But do you want any part of that whole new world at all? Any part? No, I, I don't. But that's not to say other people can't go speculate. I just want people to understand sure. the difference between speculation and investment. We have to price investments off of cash flows they generate. 500-year-old lessons don't go away in a new world. Last time we said there was a new world where lessons went away, it was called dot-com, and it blew up. In this case, I have no idea where crypto goes to the upside. I just know those investing are speculating, and there's a lot of risk in that. We have to be a bit different in the way we manage money for our clients. Yes, you do. David Barnson, very successful money manager, I might add. Thanks for joining us, David. We'll see you again soon. All right.